Hello, my name is Lena and welcome back to my channel. And let's look at the books I wanted to read in 2023, but didn't. I have done this kind of video for, I don't know, I feel like every year since I had my channel where I shared a book that was on my TBR in the previous year that I kind of wanted to get to. That's why they were on my TBR and for some reason didn't. This year I have kind of two sections because halfway through the year I kind of gave up on making TBRs and I took a break during the summer. So I have six books from my TBRs and they are mostly from the first half of the year. And then I remember that I had the like 23 books in 23 in my reading spreadsheet. And yeah, there were some books that I didn't get to on that too. So I have 13, 13 books to share with you. I'm not going to talk a lot about each book because I don't want to make this video too long. If I don't know much about the book, you're getting basically nothing about the book. If I know something, I will mention that something. So first the books from the tbrs the first book i uh, have been wanting to read for quite some time for a couple of years i feel like and it was two times on my tbrs in 2023 and i didn't get to it <laughs> in none of those two times so it is these hollow wows by lexi ryan and this is a fae book i guess it's a romance so that is all I can say. I know that Ali from Hard Recorder really enjoyed this book. That's what pushed this book like higher on my TBR, but still, as you can see, I didn't get to it. And last year, I feel like last year, the second book in the duology came out. So I have both books and I can read them. If I like this one, I can quicker get to the sequel, though that kind of almost never works with sequels and me but yeah then i have moriarty by anthony horowitz this is i feel like it's like a murder mystery kind of thing because there's sherlock holmes mentioned on the book but it says that sherlock holmes is dead so i don't know but i guess this is kind of a kind of murdery mystery kind of thing and i had this on multiple tbrs in 2023 only once but in previous years i feel like i had it a couple of times but maybe i'm wrong so yeah next i have a book by latvian author svina garsha by mars berzinc i don't know how to translate the first word it's some kind of a metal kind of thing i feel like and this is taste so this is a historical fiction set around second world war I feel like it's gonna be a tough read because of the war setting. I feel like it's war. I don't want to be wrong, but yeah. Next, I have Poster Girl by Veronica Roth. And all I know about this one, that this is a dystopian kind of book. It's not a like long one, it's quite short. And it says, a fallen regime, a missing child, a chance at freedom. So some kind of a rebellion. Then I have The Adventures of Amina Al-Sarafi by Shannon Chakraborty. This is a piratey kind of fantasy book and there is a cat. I'm thinking that because I know there is a cat on the ink papers on one side so I believe there is a cat character in this one and I already know that this I will read I think, right now, I think, I believe, I'm going to read this one for Buzzword Reading Challenge because one month we have character names in the titles and Amina Al-Sarafi is the main character of this story. Then, Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Timmy O. This one I wanted to read because it was a Patreon book club read, but I didn't get it on time for the book club. I got it like... I feel like I got it too late. I didn't have enough time to read it. And I didn't feel like pushing myself to read it quickly just for the live show. So it just 
didn't happen but i really want to read this one this is a sci-fi i feel like some kind of a space mission where kids are like preparing for it i don't know if they go on a way to but something about going into the space and i've been wanting to read this one for quite some time because i like sci-fi i don't read them enough I need to read them more. I want to read them more, but at the same time, I'm scared. <laughs> Wait, I love books, but they scare me too. And the last one from the TBR things is God Killer by Hannah Kanner. And this one, I saved it since, I don't know when I found out that Ali, the hard recorder, is doing uh, like a body read on her discord for this book because it's one of her favorite books and yeah i saved it for december and i didn't get to it so it is one of the books i would like to read in 2024 but will i we'll see i guess it is a book about god killer and there is a sequel it's not out yet i believe but I think I already pre-ordered it, like the matching special edition sequel for this. So yeah, about a god killer, who knows what else. And now the books I put on my 23 and 23 list and didn't get to for whatever reason, mostly because I forgot about that list. So, first uh, there is this. Hidden Life, a diary of a homosexual. It is a diary of a man who lived in, I don't know, from, he was born in 1906 and lived to 1996. And he's a Latvian man, a gay man, and this is his diary. It is like, it is not the whole thing. The people who published it, they changed, I think, took out some things that are too private but this is his diary so we know that there is second world war included it says that he started writing in 1927 and this book includes the diary entries from 1927 to 1949 i started it it wasn't an easy read maybe because like we know that Language changes throughout the years, so the way people talked back then, it's a bit different. But I read the like beginning, the kind of foreword where some things are explained, but I have already forgotten it. We can see that I got to page 52, but I got to it in 2022. I didn't even open it in 2023, so. Then another book I've been wanting to read for so long for so long for too long and i haven't get gotten to it and it is iron widow by xiren jaisal and this is a sci-fi and there are robots in this one and i guess the characters are the ones who control the robots or something like that i don't really remember it but i've been wanting to read this one for way too long again way too long and i haven't gotten to it uh it looks amazing I feel like it looks amazing. I know that there is a sequel. I, f I don't know if it's already out or it's gonna be out soon or it's already the third book. I feel like I recently saw a book from this series, but I don't know if it was book two, book three. Who knows? Then I have a Latvian edition of Wishes by Louis Schwab and it is called Alone Estiva in Latvian. And yeah. It is about two friends, they were friends, and then now they are enemies, and they have superpowers. Is this the book? I hope that's the book. I think this is, but yeah, it's about them. That's all I can say. I haven't read that many visual books, like two. I have read Adela Larue and Gallant, and this hopefully will be the third one. Then I have a beast of a book that is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher 
Paolini. This is the author of Aragon, and I haven't read that series, but this is a sci-fi, but it is a beast. I hope it's good. I hope to get to it. I hope to get my shit together and stop being that scared of big books, because how many pages is this? Over 800. Uh, yeah, oh, 878. The last numbered page. And yeah, all I can say it's a sci fi. Bit author of Aragon. <laughs> then another book that's been like my TBR for too long and I haven't gotten to it because I'm a bit scared that I won't like it because I know people like it. There are people who hate it too, but I have the sequel too. And I haven't even gotten to this one. I have too many sequels for the books that I haven't read. So, it is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I really, really want to read this one. It is about a girl, Alex Stern. She can communicate with ghosts or sea ghosts or something. And she goes to some kind of a college, university. Let's check what this said in here Yale and she joined some kind of a secret society to help them with the ghost kind of things or something like that I don't know I've heard that there are some tough things in this book that we need to be aware of like drugs and stuff like that so yeah but I still really want to read it and I hope to like it and the last book is House of Hunger by Alexis Henderson. I read Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson and really loved it. It was one of my favorite books, I feel like. And this is a vampire story. And I like vampires, but I haven't read that many recently, I feel like. I want to read, but I'm scared that I won't like them. So I put them off and they're just hanging on my shelves. But yeah, this is a vampire story. I think about a girl who goes to some kind of a house to work there or something and becomes... Uh, I don't know if she becomes a vampire but or that house has vampires and she just... I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, this is another one I didn't get to. So yeah, these were the 13 books. I didn't get to in 2023. I wanted to, but didn't. So we'll see how many of them I will read in 2024. If I read any of them in 2024, aim is to read at least some, but we'll see what happens in 2024. Who knows what kind of year it's going to be. It's not here yet as of filming, but it probably is when you're watching this video the new year is here i think this is it you can share in the comments if you have a book that you wanted to read in 2023 and for some reason didn't you don't have to share the reason but you can share the book title and let me know if you have read any of these and did you like them so yeah that's gonna be it for this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i see you in the next one bye